Good Sunday morning, I'm Jaden Jefferson and welcome to this week's Community Focus. Last weekend, there was a break in the case of Deanne Warner, a Lenawee County, Michigan woman who disappeared over three years ago. In November, her husband, Dale Warner, was arraigned on her murder. But just last weekend, remains were found on Warner's property. And on this week's show, I'm speaking to Dee's nephew, Parker Hardy, to hear about his reaction to this news. There's, it's not even a good way to explain it, to be honest. Uh, very surreal, very um, unimaginable. Um, it's finally, I, I guess, very mostly emotional. Um, finally, uh, we have some closure that we've been asking for a long, long time. So it, it's just a lot to take in at the moment. Kind of talk to me just about when that news came out. What exactly was the initial reaction? Was it surprise? Was it just something that was expected? Kind of talk to me about that. It, it wasn't definitely not expected. Um, it was shocking. Um, I think it was almost breathtaking. Um, we just had no idea that uh, he would go through this much effort. We had we had always had a theory that this is what could have happened, but it always seemed too unrealistic to bring it to reality, I guess you would say. To have Dale already going through the legal system behind the scenes with this happening, do you think that he's possibly feeling any emotion about this based on your interactions with him? Oh, I'm sure he is. Um, I have um, insights that I, I obviously can't disclose, but I have ways of knowing uh, what his reaction is right now and what his emotions are, and uh, they aren't good. Uh, I'm sure I don't have as many details as I'd like, but I'm sure he's sweating bullets at this point. I would be. Um I'm sure that uh, he's getting quite a bit of grief um, if the news has entered throughout the jail. Um, so he's uh, getting everything he asked for, that's for sure. And one thing I've heard you talk about before is the fact that it's already traumatizing to lose a family member and just disappear in this way. But of course, to also have to deal with court and all of the things that come with that, that can take a toll. So how do you all handle that? Uh, we're a strong family. Um, I'd like to put us probably against anybody at this point uh, we've become very strong very resilient um, very prepared um, you, you have to prepare yourself for the worst um, and hope for the best um, at this point and we've unfortunately experienced a lot of the worst um, so and that's how we we handle it um, we just take it one day at a time um, patience is a huge thing um, it should be it shouldn't be that way but we've had to learn to be very patient. Um, that, that's the only way you will get through this is one little step at a time and just never say, never stop, just never give up. That's the biggest thing. It's been three long years on top of that. I mean, obviously no one could have yeah. predicted that D would have disappeared under these circumstances, but of course to have so many years and months gone without her, how has that really affected the family just having that hole of missing D? It never goes away. It's a numbness um, that you just, just learn to live with. Um, a numbness and a pain, I guess you should, I should say. Um, you, you just, it's always an empty hole inside your heart, an empty hole at the dinner table, an empty hole just everywhere. You know, um, all you can do is, sorry, a notification come in there. Um, all you can do is hope that uh, you can just get through every day and you learn to live in her memory. Um, and you know that deep down that if she knew she was missing, which we believe she obviously does, but if, uh, she would want us, if she could say something to us, she would want us to move on and to be a family as we were. And what are some of the different ways that you guys are all carrying on Dee's legacy, despite the fact that her physical presence isn't here? Um, Lots of different ways. Things that seem to be drumming up a little bit more this year than what they ever had before. Um, this will be my second year of presenting the um, Dean Warner um, Distinguished Junior Member Award at the Lenawee County Fair. Um, this year went very, very well. It was a very um, deserving recipient of it. And um, we had we were able to have quite an, um, an addition to the just the trophy itself we had some stuff donated um to to give to the recipient um to help with the 4-h project and um, to possibly even continue on another 4-h project for next year so that was nice and then i've re recently been um, contacted by the Catherine cobb house again 
Um, that was where all um, during the funeral, all donations went to the Catherine Cobb safe house in Adrian. Um, if, if you're not familiar with that, it's a safe house for um, women that have gone through similar situations such as D went through. And um, so they're trying to meet with me here in the coming weeks. Um, I guess I, I didn't realize um, or I didn't remember maybe that October is um, domestic violence month, I think, or, or something to do with what they do. And so they're gearing up to do some sort of a collaboration with us um, to help bring awareness around the county for women that have gone through these type of things. One thing that has really kept this case going and kept this case in the news has been in your community. I mean, a lot of people have really been passionate about this, even if they didn't know Dee personally. And so what does that all mean? And do you think that played a role in getting the case to go to this point? Well, that's, that's a two-part question. The first part that you asked is, uh, what does that mean to us? It means um, the absolute world to us. Um, you never realize how many people friends you have until you're in a particular situation like we've been in. Um, we've called on people um, and they've been there every time. We haven't had to beg for people. They've willingly stopped what they're doing, offered their hand to help. And I mean, the people that have left their yard signs out still to this day, it takes, you know, it, it, some people look at it as that's nothing, but it still takes effort. It takes time to make sure the sign is surviving the wind it looks good um you know it's not something happening to it now they got a mow around it. it it's just uh it's amazing the people that are out there that still truly care and i think the reason the community responded the way they did was because they saw the emotion of our family uh throughout the entire thing a lot of people uh particularly the the authorities have criticized us for how open we were with the media when they don't realize that the media is what probably got this case to where it is today. Uh, without the media, we wouldn't have had the push um, that we had if we were silent. If we were silent and just hid in a corner and expected somebody to take this case and take it to the finish line, it wouldn't have happened. Without a drive, without a rally, without a, an army of people all being broadcasted on the media, it would never have happened. And that's this week's show. I'm Jaden Jefferson. Thanks for watching and have a great week on Monday.